Shalom, shalom. Before I start, I want to give all honors and glories and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Ahawa Kakodash, Yahweh, which is the one and only true name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, who the world eagerly calls Jesus Christ, but his one true name is Yahweh Shai. I would like to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, because those are the men who I've learned this truth from through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Peace, blessings, salutations to the whole full elect. And shalom to you, sincere brothers scattered abroad, pushing forth this word in truth and sincerity. I am your brother Mashiach Arazaka from the servants of Yahweh Wa Yahweh Shai Camp, Las Vegas, Nevada branch. And uh, pretty much this lesson is going to be titled as False Prophets. All right. And um, <clears throat> the men that you should be following, and I always say this in my videos, I highly recommend you i highly recommend you to follow great millstone hebrew israelites all right because those are the men that the lord set up for you to follow and through those men you're going to be able to receive salvation lord willing all right but these other guys that's outside of great millstone and when i say outside of great millstone i'm talking about these individuals that's teaching contrary to the scriptures all right that's teaching contrary to the scriptures you know, that's adding to the word, all right? And I explained it many times. So if you're new in this truth, all right, I really highly advise you to follow one camp, and that's Great Millstone Hebrew Israelites. All right, so Lord one is that's that's fine. Let's get to this. And um <clears throat> this is John this is first John four and four and one. It says, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits, whether they are of Yahweh Bashi Mashai. Because many false prophets are gone out to the world. Yeah, many false prophets have gone out into the world. All right. You got these 501c3 charter religious groups, you know, these TD Jakes, Craft Low Dollars, you know, the, the Geno Jennings. You got those individuals too, which is under the 501c3. But you also got Israelite groups that's under the 501c3 charter, all right? Any dude that's teaching contrary to the scriptures, you know he's sold out under the 501c3, you know? These other Israelite groups that's outside of Great Millstone that teach contrary to the scriptures, out, like uh, opposite to, all right? They teach that the MOTB is a bag of weed, you know? They teach that you can have sex on the Sabbath. They teach that the, the, the MOTB you know, is a, a spiritual mark, or, or they don't teach in it at all, they teach nonsense, you know, so you got a lot of these false prophets, and these Israelite groups is sold out under the 501c3, that's why it's best to follow Great Millstone, because they're going to give you the whole meal, they're going to give you the bad part, and they're going to give you, they're going to give you the good parts, and they're going to give you the bad parts, but these other groups, they just give you the good, and not the bad, they don't give you the end-day prophecy, all right, they just tell you, you know, you're an Israelite. They give you the, the you know, the, the the peanut shells of the truth, but they don't give you the whole entire meal. They don't get you the bad things. They don't give you secular history. They don't give you prophecy. They don't give you any of those things. All right, they just give you, um, you know, the peanut shells, just the good parts. That's why it's best to follow Great Millstone because you're going to get the whole truth. This is Matthew 7 and 15. It says, beware of false prophets, right? Beware of false prophets, which come to you in sheep's clothing, right? And, you know, everybody be uh, and fast, be fascinated with all these other Israelite groups because how fancy and nice their garments look. So they must have the 100% truth because their garments look fancy. You know, you got these guys wearing menorah necklaces, big menorah necklaces. You got these guys wearing the star of Molak. You know, not the star, not, it's not called a star, but they wear the Moloch, all right, low symbol. You know, these individuals, everything with them is just publicity and for attention, all right? They don't really care about the truth. Everything has to do with fanciness and attracting attention, and that's not what this truth is about, all right? Each and every one of us individually is working out our salvation with fear and trembling. So we don't give a damn about impressing anybody. We just want to teach and do the works. You know, but you got these other groups that are doing this. You know, they using this for clout, vainglory. They're not looking at the outer things. They're not looking at the things that are really what is really going on. They just looking on the things that, you know, are are uh, beneficial to them in this society. You know, everything is just a gimmick and just for vainglory. 
and fashion and recognition. And it's not about that. It says, but inwardly they are raving wolves. Yeah, inwardly these individuals are raving wolves. A lot of these groups that's under the 501c3, everything with them is about money. That's what it is about at the end of the day. It's not about delivering, you know, the elect to these other Israelites. That's why it's best to follow Great Millstone. Because at the end of the day, you're going to get the 100% truth. All right. And you're going to, you know, Lord willing, receive salvation through those men. Because the Lord set those men up. Those are the men that the Lord set up. This is Second Peter 2 and 1. It says, but there were false prophets also among the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you. And that's what's going on right now. There's false prophets among us. They teaching contrary to the scriptures, you know. They teaching things that's not in the Bible. They adding to the scriptures, you know. It says, who privately shall bring in a damnable heresy. And heresies is lies, all right. Just like the uh, ISUPK group teaching that the MLTB is a bag of weed, cocaine. That's adding to the scriptures. That's nowhere in the scriptures. How can you buy or sell uh, 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 buy, meaning like buy or sell something like that, because this is going to be a global thing. The MLTB is going to be a global thing. All right. So you mean to tell me that high masses above, you're going to be recommended to buy or sell, uh, drugs to comply to their system. You're going to have to buy or sell drugs. That don't make no sense. Why, why would that be the, the end day prophecy? But these guys, they sold out. So they're going to be in a damnable heresy. They're going, they're going to speak lies. It says, even denying the Lord that, that bought them and bring upon themselves a, a swift destruction. They're going to be destroyed. And this is why, again, why I say to a lot of you individuals out there, you want to make sure you're teaching the correct doctrine. You don't want to be going off on the scriptures, especially if you're an individual that have a hundred that has 1.21K subscribers, you know. You the more subscribers you get, the more careful you want to be, because that's a lot of that's a lot of jakes, you know, a lot of sheep that you're responsible for, you know. So you may sound good and dress nice and do all that, but none of that shit matters. You want to make sure you're on the you're on point with the scriptures. You want to make sure you're teaching the correct doctrine, because you got people again that watch your lessons, that watch your videos. So you got to be sharp as iron, man. You got to be making sure you be breaking down these scriptures correctly, and you're doing. You know, things orderly, all right, and teaching the truth, all right. This is Matthew 24, 24. For there shall arise false Christ and false, just be reading for verbatim. For there shall arise false Christ and false prophets and shall show great signs and wonders and so much that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. And we see those things happening right now. You know, all these jakes is really believing in these false prophets, man. But they being deceived, all right. Because the true men out there, the true men that are out there, the true prophets that are out there, those are the ones that you guys are persecuting. You guys are persecuting those men. You guys are uh, bearing false witness on those men. You guys are mocking those men. But you go home to watch TV, listening to T.D. Jakes, and you're agreeing with what he's saying. And T.D. Jakes is sold out, man. He's sold out. You know, everything with them is just a money thing. They don't give a damn about your salvation, you Israelites, you know. Even Geno Jennings, man. That that guy, Geno Jennings, he don't give a damn about y'all, man. It's a money thing. Everything has to do with money with these individuals. All right? You know? And then you got these Israelite groups that sold out. You know? And a lot of these groups that are outside of Great Millstone that teach in contrary to the scriptures, they don't even go out in the streets and teach no more. Them guys are sitting in a building like a radio show talking and, and doing all that. They don't even go out and teach no more. You know. So how can they be men of the Lord? They don't even go out and teach no more. A lot of these groups. That's outside of Great Millstone. They sit in a, they sit in a goddamn building. And they just fucking just talk like they're on a radio show. They don't they don't go out there and teach no more. Like that. This is Romans 16, 18. For they that are. For they that are such. Serve not our Lord. Hamashiach Yahushai. See they don't serve Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. But their own belly. They serve their own belly. This is a vainglory thing for them. This is a this is a vainglory profit for them of money. All right? Because that's what they care about. It says, and by good words and fair speeches deceive the hearts of the simple. And you simple ones are you Israelites, man. You guys are easily deceived. You believe everything what somebody say, especially when they teach in false doctrine. You know, but hey, you don't know. 
because you're thinking that they have the truth and they don't. That's why, again, I said, if you're an individual and you're following and you're listening to a, a Jake and he's going off 1%, 5%, 20%, 50%, even 1%, don't watch that individual, man. Because that small thing that you think ain't really nothing, that's not a major thing, is a major thing. It could be something big and you don't want that. That's why I advise you to follow Great Millstone. Because if you follow in all these different groups, you're going to be bugged out. Because they're not all teaching the same doctrine. And, you know, I get this all the time too. Oh, all of our elders came out of one West. They did all come out of one West. But they're not all teaching the same doctrine now. These individuals is not teaching the same doctrine. All right? They're not teaching the same doctrine. That's why it's best, again, to follow Great Millstone. You know, you don't want to be following all these different groups. You know? And get another precept out. This is Ezekiel. Uh, like yeah. This is uh, <clears throat> Ezekiel chapter 13. And I'll read from the top. This is Ezekiel 13 and 1. It says, And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, prophesy, prophesy against the prophets of Israel that, that prophesy, that prophesy, and say unto them, so like, and say unto them that prophesy out of their own hearts, meaning their own minds, hear ye the word of the Lord. Verse three: Thus saith the Lord, Power, woe unto, woe unto the foolish prophets that follow their own spirit and have seen nothing. And that's what these individuals are doing. They prophesying from their own vain opinion. They had their own interpretation. And the scriptures even say, I think it's this. First Peter one and twenty, or Second Peter one and twenty, or Second Peter one and twenty. There is no prophecy of any scripture of any private interpretation. So you can't have your own interpretation of the Bible. All right, you have to teach exactly how it's taught. All right, you can't teach it your own way. You can't skip the way somebody else teaches it and teach it. You got to teach accordingly to the scriptures. All right, there's no private interpretation. All right. And the only way you can break these scriptures down is through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Ashai. And you have to learn through the, his men, the true prophets. Because there's false prophets out here. You know? And you don't want to be teaching false doctrine. You know, that's a very uh, scary situation to put upon yourself. You don't want to be teaching false doctrine. You know? And um, let me get... Uh, uh, it's Jeremiah 23. Because this is what's going to be the end result for you false prophets. And this also goes to you Israelite groups. That's under the 501c3 charter. This is also pertaining to y'all. If y'all don't repent, this is what's going to be your judgment. Jeremiah 23 and 1. It says, Woe be unto the pastors. And these pastors is also it's talking about T.D. Jakes and these guys that's under the 501c3. But these Israelite groups that's under the 501c3 charter is also these pastors. All right, I remember El Apostle Tahar did a, a video a while back, you know, and they, they, they're they the true pastors because a true pastor is in this truth 24-7, 24-7. There is no days off, 24-7, all right? They're the true pastors. But these talking about these false prophets, which are these false pastors. You got these Geno Jennings, you got these Craft Low Dollars, you got these TD Dakes, you got these Peter Popoffs, and you got these Israelite groups and etc. you know? That's teaching false doctrine. That's why it's best to follow Great Millstone. Jeremiah 23 and 1. Woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pastures, saith the Lord. See? Woe means warning or destruction. And if you eject that's teaching false doctrine, you're going to be destroyed. All right? Especially if you add it and take it from the word. That's a very dangerous thing. Verse 2. Therefore, thus saith the Lord power of Israel against the pastors that feed my sheep. Talking about you, Geno Jennings, you Craft Low Dollars, you Peter Popoffs, all right, and you other and you Israelite groups, all right. That's under the five hundred one c three charter. It goes to y'all as well. It says, it says, I read from the top. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, Power of Israel, against the pastors that feed my sheep, ye have scattered my flock and driven them away, and have not visited them. Behold, I will visit upon you. The evil of your doing, say, but Lord, and you're going to be destroyed for doing that. All right. This is why, again, I say, you know, to you Jake's out there, man, you get rebuked by the elders, apostles, great millstone or any brother that's in the truth. You know, take the video down. 
All right, take the video down, repent, and keep it keep it pushing, cause we're in the last days. You know, you just think that this brother's just getting on you or being a bully. We're in the last days, man. And if you're a Jake that's teaching false doctrine and you're going off, you know, it's good to accept that rebuke because it's easier said than done. Cause I've been rebuked many times in this truth myself, but I haven't both. I thank the Most High that He ain't put a, a prideful spirit. To bulk up against any brother. I don't bulk up against nobody. Alright. I'm talking about my brothers that send the truth. That's, that teach the same doctrine as Great Millstone. Now you other guys. You know. Y'all. I got to defend the gospel. Because y'all be coming with madness doctrine. I'm talking about the brothers. That's in Great Millstone. To to the brothers that's followers of Great Millstone. That's in the same doctrine. That's teaching the same doctrine. That's in that one body. Alright. But I'm just saying for myself, man, I just think the most high not to be bulking up because I ain't trying to bulk up against no brother. It's called learning and it's called, uh, uh, you know, repenting and moving forward. We're in the last days. You don't want to be being prideful because that can cause you to, to be destroyed, you know. And now I got a precept, too, on that. This is Proverbs 13, 13. It says, whoso despises the word shall be destroyed. Yeah, if you're getting rebuked and you don't want to take correction... This falls in with that. If you getting rebuked and you ain't taking correction and you want to be prideful, you know, brothers telling you, you know, you're going off on the scriptures, that's incorrect. And you getting prideful and you not listening to the truth and you want to do what you want to do, you're going to be destroyed. You know, that's why it's good to take heed to the truth. You don't want to reject it. You don't want to despise it. You want to be in total order. It says, whoso despises the word shall be destroyed, but he that feareth the commandment shall be rewarded. That's what we're doing. We're rehearsing the righteous acts. Keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments to the best of our ability, but we're mainly having a faith. We're mainly having a faith. So we are able to repent. We're under grace. We're under temporary grace period, but we're repenting and examining ourselves. All right? We're not out here trying to be macho, trying to be Randy Savage. You know? Nah. You need to repent. You need to get in order. You need to fall in line. So, hey, man. You know, Lord, world is less is edifying. I want to give honors and glories and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahshai, Bahashem Yahweh, and double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, salutations, and overflow elect. And shalom to you, sincere brother Scott abroad, pushing forth this word in truth and sincerity. I am the brother Mashiach Arazaka from the servants of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai Camp, Las Vegas, Nevada branch. And uh, Lord, one is less is edifying. So, hey, man, if you a Jake out here, and you, you know, you, you know, you're new in this truth, you need to follow only Great Millstone, man. Don't be following all these other groups. Follow Great Millstone. And follow the brothers that's under the banner of Great Millstone. All right? Because, uh, you know, we teach the same exact doctrine as Great Millstone. But we, I highly recommend you to follow Great Millstone. All right? So, again, you know, you got you got brothers out there. You got group brothers that's, that's groups out there that's under the banner of Great Millstone. They're not in Great Millstone. But we teach the same doctrine as Great Millstone, like myself. You know? So, you know, you don't want to be following... Groups that's not teaching the same doctrine as Great Millstone. All right. So, hey, Lord, what is that? Is that a fine? Until next time I say, Shalom.